Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Duna Cimento Silva and in today's video tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can create an editable list view VBA where you can quickly insert data directly on the list view and save all changes automatically to the Excel worksheet as data is entered into it. But before I begin, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Please hit the bell icon as well so you're notified of all the great content we publish every week. Now, let's get started. Alright guys, the first thing you have to do is to access this blog page, the link is in the description down below this video. Once you click on the link, you'll be redirected to this blog page. The application you are gonna build, it looks like this one here. And once you finish watching this video, you'll be able to edit any one of the sub items of this list view and save all changes automatically to your worksheet. So here we have this download button, so let's click it. Now let's carry this file and... Uh, Let's carry this file and uh, paste it inside the Windows workspace, okay? Uh, let's unzip. And here you can see these two files. Uh, the first one is just uh, the, the icons we are gonna use it to put inside the list view, okay? And the second one is our workbook, so let's open it. Uh, we have to enable the addiction for this document, okay? And also we have to enable the macro. Here you can see the data you're gonna use for this example, okay? Uh, now I have to access the VBA environment. To do that, I just click here in the developer tab and after and after in Visual Basic. And uh, here we are having this uh, user form. So let's create the, the list view and the image list. So uh, I just click here in the list view control and after in the inside the user form. So the list view is already here. Let's do the same for the image list. So now I have the list view control and the image list inside my user form. Now let's go back to our blog page. If I scroll down this web page, I'm gonna see this first VBA code. So let's copy. And back to our workbook, I'm gonna clean this and paste the code here. So uh, once I run this application, the list view is already created. But remember, it's not the purpose of this video to explain the code use it to create this list view. I've already explained in my previous video how we can create a customized list view VBA like this one. And uh, you can watch this video for a long explanation. In that video, I explain how to enable these two controls, the list view and the image list. So uh, those, these two controls here, the list view control and the image list control, as well as how to enable this reference here. This reference uh, allows you to use uh, the list view control properly. Okay, so it's very important to know how to do that before starting this video. Most of the videos in my channels are in Portuguese, but don't worry about that because all videos have translated subtitles, okay? Okay guys, once our list view is created, you can also transform this list view into an editable list view. If you already work with Excel VBA, you may know that uh, there is four different types that you can use to display data using list view. Uh, so, and uh, this one you are using here is called LV report. And the problem with this type of view is that uh, it's not possible to edit data directly on the list view. So let's try another one type of view. I can change it here. So let's try this one here. And I run the application. And as you can see, this is another type of view using list view. And uh, here I can I can change data as you can see I can put different numbers and different uh, uh, words here. But the problem with this time of view is that uh, it only display the the data for one column, and that's not what I want. So let's close it. Let's go back to the previous type of view. So let's put it here. Uh, LB report and so how can you uh, change data for example for this column here so guys to do that I'm gonna create another control 
So I'm gonna put it here on a text box and uh, I'm gonna change the name of this text box. I'm gonna put it txt edit. Edit, okay? And uh, I'm gonna use this control to to make this list view an uh, edit table control. Uh, but uh, the problem here is because I cannot uh, I cannot put the this control in front of the list view. So let's try it. And uh, once I run the application, where is the, the the text box? It's not possible to put in front of the list view. Uh, so how can you do that? To do that, I'm going to create another control. Uh, so this one here, it's a frame. And if I put it here, look. Now I can see this, this control in front of the list view. So I'm going to use these two controls, okay? Uh, this one is just to display the text box in front of the list view. So let's change it. Let's clean this caption and change the border style and uh, I'm gonna put it is inside the the frame control okay so let's put it here and uh, now let's go back to our blog post and the co and copy this code here so let's copy it and uh, I'm gonna paste it the code here okay but before we run the application, let's uh, create another control here. I'm going to put it on combo box. And I'm going to change the name for info CV. Okay. And uh, change the type of board style. And the same for the text box. Once I do that, I can run the application. But before I do that, I don't uh, I don't want to see this control every time I run the application. So that's why I'm gonna put in this parameter here. I'm gonna change it to false. Okay. So once I run the application, the control is not here, so it's invisible now. Uh, but once I double click here, look. Now I can edit data as I just told you guys uh, let's let's change the the bar style I'm gonna put in a different color here let's put in um, don't know this color here okay um, so it's better now uh, but uh, why it's only working for the second column so they call number two and not this one here or this one here or this one here so let's take a look in on the code so here as you can see i i just set these two variables this first one is just an integer type and this uh, this one here is specific for the the list view control okay that's why it's important to enable this this reference here and i just set here item cell equals list view one so that's the name for the list view i just created dot select item so and this one here uh, as you can see in here so let's see here uh, once we'll double click here i'm gonna say to the to the VBA to make this control visible so that's why I'm using true okay and I'm gonna put the top distance and the left distance and the same for the height and the width so the height is the same height for the selected item here okay and the same width with it for the for this control so this is a self adjustable control and as the text box is inside of the the frame i'm gonna i will not uh, have problem with this okay but uh, you may ask me why i'm using plus one here so i'm gonna to explain that now if you look here uh, this uh, the the column number one the column number two and this column here 
is the column number zero exactly so let's go back to worksheet if you look here these are the column number one okay column number one two three but uh, with the list view it's different the column number one the column number one it's uh, the column number zero for the list view and uh, this one here is the column number number one number two so if you look here if i put it number three for example now i can edit data for this column here column number three so zero one two three okay guys and uh, as i just told you guys if i increase the width for these column headers look it's self-adjustable okay and uh, the same for the for the distance between here and the left side and the here and the top side okay okay guys once you understand that we can go to the next step okay guys now i want to change the column here uh, without uh, change the code so each time i want to change the column I have to put the number of the color I want to edit, but uh, I don't want that. I want to do that uh, automatically, okay? So to do that, uh, I have to create some other controls here. Uh, actually, it's not necessary because uh, if you, once you, you download this file, uh, it already have here some controls, okay? okay. Uh, it's a label control, if you look here. And, uh, we are gonna use it this for change the column I want to edit, okay? Uh, but before I do that, let's uh, go back to our post blog. And uh, here I'm gonna to copy these two code, okay? Uh, the first one is this one here. Uh, so let's back to, to our workbook. I'm gonna paste it uh, right here. And uh, the second one, I click copy here and uh, let's go back here. I'm gonna paste here, okay? And so let's copy this, this sub here. And uh, we have to, to call this code every time the user form is in initialized, okay? Uh, so I just type here call and the name of the sub okay now once I run this application look all the controls are aligned to to each column I want to change okay I want to edit now I have to create another text box here and I'm gonna change the the name I'm gonna put it txt index and I copy this name and I'm gonna put it right right here so txt index dot value okay uh, after that I have to put number one here so the number one is like uh, an standard for every time I I run this application. Look, uh, it uh, it begin with the number one, and uh, if I click here, look number three, number four, number five. So let's uh, double click here. Look, and each time I I change the number of the column it will be able to edit okay and for example if i click here i can change the column one okay and so let's scroll down here and look it doesn't matter if i'm in the mirror of the list view or in the beginning it will work on the same way okay so uh why not uh, to edit this column here because for me uh, i don't want uh, to change this column here 
only the the other columns okay so column one and uh, the three four and the column number six okay and now what i have to do is to change here for false so now we cannot see this control so look at uh, i'm gonna to change the the font here i'm gonna put in century gothic and the size i'm gonna put in 11 and okay so now now it's looking much better okay okay guys so the code is working very well okay guys now i'm gonna make some changes inside this code here so Okay guys, once we have finished, we can now save data to our worksheet. Uh, to do that, uh, let's go back to our blog post. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna copy this code here. So I click copy, okay. And uh, go back to our workbook. And uh, let's, uh, let's, Let's paste the code here. Once we do that, so let's call the, let's call this sub uh, into the, actually it's not the change event, uh, let's uh, change it for the after update. So to update this control here, this text box, I want uh, the code call this sub here okay and uh, let's clean that and the same for the combo box let's change here for after open it okay and let's clean that now let's run the application let's just to, to change some data here i'm gonna put it just to test the code okay uh, now let's try to change here i'm gonna put in number seven okay <laughs> as you can see here i just changed the cell and uh, I can do the same for this other here. So let's so as you can see, the code is run very well. Okay. Uh, so now let's try to this other column here. Let's. Uh... So if you look here the change is happen okay let's try this column here so guys this is working very well okay guys uh, this is an amazing application so i hope you enjoy to finish this application let's go back to our blog page and uh, i'm gonna copy this code here and uh, paste it this sub right here and this sub is just to to sort out the arrows in uh, ascending and descending order, like uh, you can see here.
Okay. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video, so make sure you subscribe here on YouTube or like my page on Facebook and of course click on the link in the description to see more videos. This is Dona Smith Silva, thanks for watching.